Hi, this is Bob in the CTLD with a multimedia tip for faculty. I often hear faculty say that they struggle with engaging their students or getting them to develop critical thinking skills. Well, I have a solution for you. I've been following a popular blog by Daniel Russell since last spring. He is a research scientist for Google and he has a blog called Search Research that has engaged me with his weekly search problems released every Wednesday. He presents a puzzle of sorts to be researched online using all available tools and methods. I can imagine his followers just sitting there hovering over their computer waiting his weekly post to begin their quest for the answer and then to post their research method and answer uh, via the blog's comments to not only be the quickest to solve that, but also be the first to post their answer. I have a couple that I'll highlight for you. Recently, on September 26th, he posed the search challenge of why are the coasts so different? As you can see here, he provided additional details so you knew he was referring to the east and west coasts for the United States, and a few overhead images leading to the specifics of the topography differences with low-flying fringe islands on the former and largely no islands on the latter. The other example was released back in April on the 11th. This one was very interesting where he was asking for the connection between the Myrtle of Venus with Bacchus's vine and defense by reason of insanity. He was mainly asking what he was reading up on that linked these two items. With these examples as well as any others he has posted since February of 2010, you can visit his site. On the right side is a section listing the archives broken down by years and months. The problem is titled with Wednesday search challenge at the start, with his official answer typically being the very next post within a title starting with answer. The challenge post will have replies from visitors that are reporting back on their search quest, and the answer post typically having a discussion on, of the processes, question, and more. You can get started creating challenging and engaging problems for your students to solve in these three easy steps. Step 1. Visit searchresearch1.blogspot.com to view some quest examples that can help you be innovative with your search quests. Step 2. Plan out your search quest for your course. Step 3. Share your quest with your students and wait for their answers and processes or steps taken to get their answer. Remember, you can make challenging and creative quests for your students to engage them more within your course and spark their creative thinking and problem solving skills. If you would like more assistance getting started, feel free to contact the CTLT. Also, if you have an idea that could be developed as a multimedia tip, please email us at ctlt at and let us know.